Holy mother of Moses, guys. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. In breaking news out there, thanks to Kevin Hitt from the Esports Observer. If you guys want to go check them out as well, crazy as sources do hint, apparently Hex, aka Hector Rodriguez, has now reacquired the rights to Optic Gaming and along with it, the LACDL spot. If the sources do uh, actually have correct information on this acquirement, which is it's groundbreaking, it's historical because we have long talked about on this channel the downfall of Optic Gaming ever since a Mortals Club did buy Optic Gaming directly for Call of Duty. Ever since and apparently in the last month or so, Hex has been working behind the scenes to try and reacquire the branding and of course the rights to Optic Gaming and supposedly now has this is going to lead to so many other videos and I cannot wait to break it down for all of you guys. I, I, I saw this on the timeline and I don't know what to think and at first I honestly did not even believe it was real. As the article states, Hex, current co-owner and CEO of NRG Esports, has reacquired Optic Gaming in a deal separate from any ties associated with NRG. Sources close to the deal have come forward, stating that after negotiations spanning a little over a month, Rodriguez purchased the Optic Gaming IP in its entirety and in practice, the Call of Duty League slot associated with the LA franchise. This acquisition of the Los Angeles CDL slot by Rodriguez, who according to sources intends to divest to interested esports organizations, still needs league approval, so while it appears that Rodriguez now owns the Optic Gaming property, the CDL must approve the change under the assumption that Rodriguez would divest the slot through a sale as he has an ownership stake in both the Huntsman as well as of course now the LA Optic. And in case you guys do not understand that, Hex is still with NRG. Hex is still going to run the Huntsman, he has now acquired the rights to Optic Gaming, you know, for the future if they want to use that brand, which I'm sure I'll be coming back here to talk about, but as a franchise owner, you cannot have financial interest in two different teams, that being LA Optic and that being Chicago Huntsman because it's a conflict of interest if you want to try and own and operate two teams in the same league, it is not allowed. So much like we saw when Immortals Gaming Club first brought the, uh, actually bought the Optic brand, they had to get rid of those teams because they already had the LA Valiant for Overwatch, so they had to sell the Houston Outlaws, the Optic Overwatch team. If that makes sense to all of you guys, it seems that Hex has mainly acquired this because he wants the rights and of course the brand Optic Gaming, but with it he gets the CDL slot which he will now have to sell off to someone else. And that's what's going to lead to a future video because imagine, imagine who Hector Rodriguez might sell an LA CDL spot to if the buyer is, is, is the right one. Could it be Nade Shot? Could it be Doc? Could it be other investment groups who have had interest in joining the CDL? And even further, I would say the current LA Optic roster, what happens to those players? A lot of question marks in the air, guys, and unfortunately so, I actually leave town today. I'm glad I can get this first video out there. Come back Monday. We are not done talking about this. I cannot believe I am breaking down this news as, as a while back now. Hector lost Optic, and now Hex has reacquired and bought back Optic Gaming. Uh, 2020 is literally mind-blowing. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Take care.